It's a very, very good question. I'll classify it as a 750 level question. Let's get started. Consider 11 distinct integers whose median is 90 and range is 60. Be switched on whenever you're reading data like this. It talks about these numbers being distinct integers. So no two numbers are going to be same. Note, it doesn't say that these numbers are positive integers. So if the data permits, these numbers could also be a zero, could be negative, right? Keep these little things in mind as you're proceeding with the question. The median for the five smallest integers is 65. What we need to find out is the maximum range for the five largest integers. Which is one too many things. We'll start by plotting these 11 numbers. It's got 11 numbers. All of these are distinct numbers. Let's say these numbers are x1 to x11. x1 is the smallest of these numbers. x11 is the largest of these numbers. And let's say this is the ascending order of these numbers. I have not noted down all 11. I have noted down only relevant numbers. Let's start with the first data that we have. It says that the median for these 11 numbers is a 90. 11 numbers, which number is going to be the median number? The middle number. Middle number is the sixth number from left. So x6 is the median. That is equal to 90. The first data we have represented it in our schematic. The second data is the range for these 11 numbers is equal to a 60. Range of 11 numbers is essentially x11 minus x1. This is equal to 60. I'll choose to write it a little differently. Essentially, all I'm going to do is push this x1 to the right hand side. So x11, <coughs> excuse me, is equal to x1 plus 60. So essentially plotted this information in one of these two ways. The third information that we have is the median for the five smallest integers is a 65. What are the five smallest integers? x1 to x5 are the five smallest integers. The median for those five numbers is going to be the third number from left. So x3 is equal to a 65. So plotted down three data points. x6 which is the median for the 11 numbers is a 90. x3 which is the median for the five smallest integers is a 65. And the range of these 11 numbers is equal to a 60. What is the objective? We need to find out the maximum range for the five largest integers. Which are the five largest integers? Let's count down from 11. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So x7 to x11 are the five largest integers. We need to maximize that range. Range for the five largest numbers would be the difference between the largest and the smallest of these numbers. So range would have been x11 minus x7. Our objective is to maximize this range. So essentially the question is saying increase this gap to as wide as possible. Find the maximum gap between x7 and x11. Look at the arrows the way we have drawn. If you have to maximize the gap, the first thing that we need to do is to find as left a value, as low a value, as minimum value as possible for x7. Maximizing the gap is pushing x11 as much to the right as possible which means we'll have to find out how high a value can x11 take. So maximizing this range essentially can be now broken down into two parts. Find the maximum value for x11. Essentially, you have pushed x11 as much to the right as possible. Find the minimum value for x7. You have pushed x7 as much to the left as possible. Once you have done these two, the difference between that will give us the maximum range of x11 and x7. Let's start with this part. It's the easiest one to do. We know these numbers are all distinct numbers. And these are all integers. We know x6 is a 90. x7 has to be greater than x6. How low can the value of x7 be if x6 is a 90? You guessed it right. This is a 91. So finish this part of the question. All that is left is to find out the maximum possible value for x11. But that's where this comes of use. Look at it. If x1 is a 1, x11 will be a 61. If x1 is a 100, x11 will be a 160. If this number is a 100,000, this is going to be 100,060. So, if you maximize x1, if you push x1 as much to the right as possible, you would have consequently pushed x11 as much to the right as possible. So, to find the maximum value of x11, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find out the maximum, I'll write it down here, I'm going to find out the maximum value for x1. To that, if we add a 60, we would have actually found out the maximum value of x11. Just repeat it. If x1 moves to the right, because x11 is 60 more than that, x11 will also move to the right. If we have pushed x1 as much to the right as we can push x1, we would have consequently pushed x11 as much to the right as possible. 
So I'm going to maximize x1, add a 60 to it, that will give me the maximum value for x11. We know x3 is a 65. These are distinct integers, which means x2 cannot take a value which is more than 64. Which means x1 cannot take a value which is anything more than 63. So the maximum possible value for x1 is a 63 plus 60 should give us the maximum possible value for x11 which is equal to a 123. So found out the second part that we need to find out. So maximum range is the difference between these two which is equal to a 32. Let me quickly summarize this entire discussion right from the start in a printed form. This is the data that's available to us x1 to x11. The information that I'm doing is x1 is the smallest of these numbers, x11 is the largest of these numbers. These are 11 distinct numbers. The median of these 11 numbers is the 6th number which is equal to a 90. Median for the 5 smallest integers, which are the 5 smallest integers, x1 to x5. The median is the 3rd number, x3, that is equal to a 65. The range is equal to x11 minus x1, which is equal to a 60. Let's move on. What do we have to find out? Our objective is to maximize the range of the 5 largest integers. Maximizing the range of the 5 largest integers, which are those 5 largest integers? x7 to x11. We need to maximize this gap, which means we need to push x7 as much to the left as possible and x11 as much to the right as possible, which is stating that find out the minimum value for x7 and find out the maximum value for x11. When x7 is minimized and x11 is minimized, that is when this range of the five largest numbers gets maximized. Step one, let's find out the minimum value possible for x7. All of these are distinct integers and x7 has to be greater than x6. We know x6 is a 90, so x7 is equal to a 91. So part one is done. All that is left is finding out the maximum value possible for x11. We have found out min value for x7 here. If we push x1 to the right, x11 also gets pushed to the right. If we maximize x1, then obviously x11 will also get maximized. All that is left is finding out the maximum value possible for x1. We know x3 is equal to 65, which means the maximum value possible for x2 and x1 will therefore be 64 and 63 respectively. If max value possible for x1 is a 63, maximum value possible for x11 is 60 more than that, which is 123. Maximum range requires two things, maximum value of x11 and minimum value of x7. We have found out both of them. The difference between the two is the maximum range for these five largest integers. So lovely question. Hardly any calculation other than these addition subtraction, but this is a question which is very intense on analysis. Whew. We covered quite a bit in this video. It's a lot of concepts to cover in one single video. Time it took a break. Use the break for two things. One, subscribe to this channel. And two, sign up for the most comprehensive and affordable GMAT Quant course that's available online at gmat.vizaco.com.